Okay, we're starting this a little early because y'all need to witness this. Someone's throwing hands in my fucking house! Who's the fuck? Who's doing this? Hey! How the fuck did you survive? Who were you fighting? Jamil, how the fuck are you alive? I came in here to. To like clean up a little bit, do do like the last little bit of daily stuff before stream officially starts. <laughs> I come in and Jamil, you are you're throwing hands with Mally. Oh, I don't even care who started it. How are you alive? Don't sit there casually, my man. How are you alive? Also, hi Jade. I see that redeem. How how are you not dead? I explain to me, you, sir. Mister, sir, yes. You, yes, d don't walk away from me. How the fuck are you alive? How did you survive? Why did you- Alrighty then! Adding shit- <laughs> I'm adding the thing to the desk now. What are we adding? I don't know. Just- I did start things a little earlier than planned because I- it's been a while since I caught one of them fighting in there. And knowing that I've got such where Malleus comes in pretty frequently, I want to know, hey, who's who's being dumb? Who pulling a dumb? For once. For once it was Jamil. Hmm, yeah, my ace mug. Get the ace mug out. I just, I come in and he's immediately throwing fucking hands. I mean, it sets a three stream watch streak. A streak is a streak. But anyways, now that, uh... Now that we've, uh... 
witness the fact that, uh, Jamil here apparently has a death wish. That or Malleus just thought that they were just horse or horse playing while Jamil was actually trying to trying to kill him. <laughs> God damn it, Jake. But anyways, welcome back everyone to Twisted Wonderland. If this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Dragon. I'm a Dragon Girl V2 with Viva Foul Mouth. And today. Well, we're gonna try to get into book two. Finally. I ignore those ignore those notifications for now. Those, those are for me later. Those are for me personally later. As always, I've got the- I'm sitting in the co-commentator channel, open for any of my fellow streamers who want to come in, voice the characters. And we're adding another thing to the disc. The question is, what- what else do I have to add to the disc? Egg. We add egg. Just an egg. Just a fried egg. Why is the fried egg there? Don't know. It's just there now. It's there. We're gonna have to deal with it. But anyways, in the meantime, until some more friends come in, it, you're gonna have to deal with me talking. Chapter 1 of Book 2. Scrambling for a meal. And we're immediately throwing hands. Damn, we start streaming with someone throwing hands, and now we're throwing hands. Uh, base. <laughs> it's not even a matter of helping. It's just a case of we're being fun with. We're just having fun with doing the voices and going through the story together. But basically, Jade, with the way, with the story, with the story for the game, is that we more or less got Isekai into a magical world where there's a school full of anime boy versions of classic Disney villains and characters. Oh, and cat check. Huh. There's no cat that I could see, at least in here. Oh boy, we're already starting off strong with a dream sequence. I can hear the wind. Right, book two is based off the Lion King. Oh, there goes John Oliver. <laughs> yes, the joke, the jokes write themselves. Hmm. He's just a baby. Dreaming of a baby lion. Good morning, boarded up windows and black mold problem. There's our cat quota. There's my bastard son. Someone's having a nightmare. I'm sure she get her cast in the mighty. Scream the mighty. He's even a jerk in his dreams. That's right, cat for me, teapot time. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Where am I? I I live around enough cats. I've I've been around cats my entire life. I better at least have a decent cat impression. Otherwise, I failed them all. Oh man, I was dreaming that I was trapped and riddled with my magic. You should have seen his face. That was a rough couple days. I'm still exhausted. Alright, let me fix my bedhead. Then it's off to class. I've got magic to master. If Ghost could voice Grim, at least the meows, do you think he'd do well? 
He'd do well, the issue is getting him to want to do it. Uh, Professor Train must have cast a sleeping spell on me. I thought I'd stay awake, but he was so boring. Yeah, thought sure. I heard you snoring five minutes in. I am great. I am terror. I can't do. I cannot copy Vesper's ace voice, but I don't, don't know if Vesper's gonna make it today. Rip time. What is it gonna be today? Huh? Hey, what's going on? What's it so crowded in here? That famous bakery from out of town is serving up their goods. It only happens once a month. The stock sells out fast, so you better hurry. Give me those chocolate croissants. Woo! I actually snagged an egg sandwich this month. These things are amazing. Egg sandwiches are now sold out. Only one deluxe ham and cheese left. Oh man, everything looks amazing. I'm gonna see if I can grab something. Wow, oh, they really do seem popular. Dragon Grim, what do you... Huh? Deuce, he's already gone. You've known him long enough to know he's already gone. The ravenous beast has gotten loose. You know he's already gone for the food. He is a food-motivated little boy. Hey, out of my way, losers! That grilled cheese is mine! Hey, no cutting! <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. The ghosts do kind of look like the Michelin Man. <laughs> also, hi, Phoenix! Yes, I've taken a drink. A freshman cutting in front of an upperclassman? Time, you, time to learn you some manners. <laughs> He's got such a one-track mind when it comes to food. Oh, hold on, I must add another thing to the desk. Another one, yes. There must be more added to the desk. I must not have a clean desk. Who says VTubers are allowed to have clean desks? Not this one. Get a boba cup. <sighs> Grim, stop! Sit down! We are one chapter in and already we're fighting. Alright, you boys are overleveled for this shit. Y'all know the drill. Have at him. Oh, there's a Vepper! And throwing pumpkins at me while you're at it, huh? And the request for bread has been heard. See, don't gotta worry about nothing. I, I have overpowered- uh, I have overleveled cards. I ain't gotta worry about shit. Right, here you go, chapter two! Yippee! Oh, hello? Hello? It's a Vepper! It's the ancient dragon fruit, hello? Give Vepper a minute. It's... Y you good? Damn it, did that go? Hold on. I, I, I think I cut out. Hold on. Let yeah, me you say did. That. It sounded like Optimus Prime was getting ready to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> it's wizard time, motherfucker! Fireball! Oh, hey, Phoenix is streaking too in the chat. <laughs> Damn it, now Jade's got me saying it. How you doing, right. Depper? I'm hanging in there as always. Yay! I I could not live up to your ace impression. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm I am back again to do my anime protagonist voice. So you missed in the very beginning of the stream. I had to start it a couple minutes early because I went to the guest room, which is like a little side thing for finish up some daily stuff. Hmm. 
One of the other characters was throwing hands with Malleus and survived. Mm. In my oh, guest wow. room. <laughs> oh, trust me, they lived because I wanted them to live. God damn it, don't start the singularity now. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Alright, but here we go, chapter two. Grim's throwing fi is throwing hands over a grilled cheese at the moment. I mean, listen, if it's that good a grilled cheese, I would too. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him, but it, at the same time, come on, man. There are plenty of other good sandwiches, too. Also, anyways, hi, Chad. I hope you are all well. I'm glad to know at least the majority of you are in a state of dress or undress you're comfortable in. <laughs> I don't know how- I don't know about anyone who's lurking. They- they have not spoken up. <laughs> Why do you think they're lurking? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> true- true, Jade. If it was made by Gordon Ramsay, I would understand the need for- for grilled cheese. What do you mean, plain bread is best sandwich? Who- who just said- wait, who just said that? Skizor. Who just said- Mods. Whack is PB. <laughs> Mods, Phoenix, throw I will, them in the brig. Phoenix, I will be honest, I completely forgot about that with the whole, basically, whirlwind of everything that's been going on IRL. It is on the to-do list. All right, but anyway, story. Ah, guess who scored the last deluxe grilled cheese sandwich? This guy. That's why they call me Grim the Great. Yes, great, I just had to fight several guys to get you that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> snagged a bear claw and a cronut. What's the fuck is a cronut? A croissant donut? I, I guess? So, that, is that a, is that a, I, my best guess, is that a reference to a French cruller? It could be. Oh my god, does a donut place actually have a copyright on the term French cruller that they have to say a cronut? I, that'd be hilarious. I know a bear claw is a type of donut, I just don't know what the fuck a cronut is. <clears throat> Grim, you need to learn some restraint. I'm really sorry, guys. Yo, Pops, give me one of those roast beef sandwiches. Oh, my man. My man. My man knows a good sandwich. Hey, you're cutting in line, too. Ah! Ruggy has appeared. Uh, oh. Shoot, was... I think... Was he... At, at, at the end of the last chapter, was he in the teaser yes, along he with was Leona? In the, he he okay. was also in the teaser along with Leona. I can't remember who was voicing him, though. Me neither. I think this was also Angel. Yeah, but But Angel... I guess I'll... I'll... I'll, I'll fill in because you're already filling in for a deuce for her. Um, yeah. Looks like I'm late for the monthly bakery battle royale. And now they're sold out of the grilled cheese Leona sent me to buy for him. Uh, uh Grim, I hope you uh, ate that real fast or not at all. Grim. Grim. I hear boss music approaching. Grim! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna savor the flavor of this victory. Oh, God. Not again. Pardon me, friend. I see you're able to get your hands on the highly prized deluxe grilled cheese sandwich. Incredible. Ruggy Ho, don't do it. Come on, man. We're the two broke bitches at the school. Come on, man. Don't do this. Hmm? Who are you and what do you want with my meat? <coughs> There's meat in the grilled cheese? Gr Grim, you can't say it. Also, yeah, that's a patty melt at that point. Yes, that is a patty. Grim, you got a patty melt. Oh, I'm just a guy who really, really wanted to buy that sandwich you've got there, but arrived a smidge too late. I mean, yeah, supply and demand's kind of a bitch, Ruggy. Yeah, supply and demand, man. Man, uh, that, that belongs to my son. Don't you fucking dare. Speaking of which, here's a proposition for you. Oh, you gonna go on the list? Might you be willing to trade your deluxe grilled cheese for this very exciting hot dog bun? I'm sorry, you're giving him just the bun? Just the I bun! I hope you mean- 
I really hope you mean it's like one of those like buns that has like it's filled with a hot dog, but I highly if you're just doubt it. if you're just that giving smile bread, says no, uh, that is just plain bread. That is a straight up downgrade, my friend. What? You must be out of your mind, dude. Oh, come on now. Let's not be like that. Here, have the hot dog bun. I insist. Oh, no. He, he did some... He did magic. ...buffoonery. Yeah, what in the name of tuna? My paws are moving on their own. Now, I fully expect to see... Oh, it is just a bun. <laughs> You're actually going to trade? It doesn't even have a hot dog in it. It is just a bun! Sounds like we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> You're on the list. What luck that I found a kind soul willing to trade. You can enjoy that hot dog bun. I do hope you can find someone to fill it with. <laughs> oh, so, something. Oh my god. Uh, uh, he about said someone. Someone was Jade, volunteering. You Jade, you did this to me with your bread comment earlier. <laughs> Maybe a squirt of ketchup would imitate the real thing. Oh my, okay, never mind. He's playing into it, though. He's playing into it. Yeah. Anyway, nice doing business with you. Toodles. Right. Are donut holes just donut hair? And you're doing the Skeletor running away meme. I, I don't know. I've never thought about it. <laughs> this feels like eldritch knowledge I'm not supposed to have. It feels like I was not supposed to have that knowledge, but now I have it. Uh. Yeah! My deluxe grilled cheese! <sighs> My poor boy. Oh man, this is much the- This is uh, the worst day of my pathetic life. I can barely choke down my lunch. On the bright side, just eating the bread. <laughs> on the bright side, you still got the bear claw and whatever, and the star spangled fuck is the, is the crow, the crow nut. nut. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. So yeah, it's not entirely bad. You just ate three pastries in ten seconds. <laughs> I still don't get why you even traded it at all. I'm just thinking of the SpongeBob clip where it's like, "You ate my only food. <laughs> now now I'm, I'm gonna st starve." I've never seen it spelt like that. Wait, is that what they're, they're supposed to be called when they don't have a donut oh. hole? Oh, hello. You ate my only food. <laughs> now I'm gonna starve. Hi, Jay. Oh God. Oh, just for that. Thanks. Thank you, Jay. Thank you Gee, for the Patrick thanks. impression. I now have two. I now have been blessed with a Patrick yeah, jump, impression. <laughs> Jade jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> the Jade jump scare. Right. I didn't. It's like when he put his hand on my paw to shout out like it was copying his. It all happened so fast. Like a deer caught in the sandwich ceiling headlights. Sure? Yeah, it wasn't like that at all, but I, I don't know how to explain it. Ugh, this stinks. I need to eat my feelings stat. Deuce, give me a bite of your pasta. Grim, no. What? Bad. <laughs> oh, wait, you made your bread, now lie in it. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Puns! Puns! This man. Jade, we got puns! The game has puns! Oh, by the way, guys, the head mage said he had something he wanted to tell us after class. No clue what it could be, though. Is it another lawsuit? Mm -mm. Probably has something to do with what happened to House Warden Rosehearts a few days ago. When he went all berserker mode on us? Yeah, I bet you're right. Maybe he wants to lavish me with a smorgasbord of succulent fish for all of my hard work that day. G yes, definitely that. Definitely that. I, I don't want to crush his li little dreams entirely. That's apparently Ace's job. Yeah, dream on, Furball. 
You know, that guy I came by earlier, I feel like we've seen him somewhere before. All right, when we first met Leona. With the, uh, tail-stepping incident. <coughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Flashback. Or, no, wait, not flashback. Flash for- or... Le Leona. Lunch is served, my friend. Oh, no. <laughs> you hear the Kristoff meme of him saying, I'm gonna tell him. No! Don't tell him! Let my little boy dream! <laughs> mm. Oh. Yep. What do, what do you mean? I don't know. What, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, you've... There's a... On my on the desk in the stream, there's an egg oh, right next to Oh, okay, now I eat. see it. There's an egg. So close, yet so far. <laughs> Time for dragon fruits to evolve arms. <laughs> Is it noon already? Oh, boy. Don't tell me you've been asleep all morning. You're going to fail more of your core classes. Smells like you actually got what I asked you for. I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee. I'm, I'm gonna have self-control today. <laughs> Barely. Must you always request the most popular item on bakery day? Anyway, here. One deluxe grilled cheese and an iced tea. Are you brain dead? The fact it's hard to get is exactly what makes me want it so bad. What do you, there's zero hats, there's false advertisings. Look, I will tell you this, when I was trying to figure out the design for this model, I couldn't find a hat that worked. At least not one that would not have costed me an arm and leg extra for getting the model made. The hat had to be sacrificed. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of budget. Me? I'll eat anything, so long as it isn't moldy. But as a prince, I doubt you could relate, your highness. Hmm. <laughs> it ain't like I'm first in line for succession. I'm second, so I probably won't ever be king. Practically a commoner, really. No, no, you are not. I, what is it like in the rich people's world? <laughs> you still got royalty money. Yes, Skizor, it was sacrificed. Yes, Skizor, the hat was sacrificed to the Twitch gods. So that way I could be able to do the VTuber debut. <laughs> That reminds me of the time you mistook a picture of my family's home for a doghouse. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Did I really do that? You really did. I wish my perspective was so warped from a life of luxury. Thank you, Ruggie. Thank you for calling him on his shit. Nah, the royal life stinks, honestly. All that matters is the order of your birth. Hard work and talent basically mean nothing. Hmm. I guess I could see that being a drag. I love the fucking voice you're doing. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, by the way, there's a house warden meeting after school today about the spell drive tournament. Please try to actually show up. Ugh, what a headache. As house warden, you get the biggest room in the dorm. You could at least make a token effort to do the corresponding job. All right, already. Fine. Stop whining. Ugh. Now that my belly's full, I'm ready for another snooze. Wake me after lunch break is over. Not to self get his highness an alarm clock. <laughs> I don't need an alarm clock. Ruggie's right there. <laughs> Ruggy ain't always gonna be there. <laughs> I'm not your alarm clock, Leona. Y you know I have my own... Ah, he's already out. Uh...
Anyway, that weasel at the cafeteria and his freshman friends. Where have I seen them before? Man, I should really keep up on the local campus news. Yeah, but man, you, you kinda got to. <laughs> the sky turned gray and there was this ominous feeling of death and destruction. Must be nothing. Must be Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Overblotting apparently in this universe is supposed to be a rare phenomenon. Rare my ass! <laughs> These people need therapy! <laughs> and no, little, no, and no, Crowley! Put, yeah, throwing birthday parties and they giving them special birthday outfits doesn't fix the problem. <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> Hmm, the sky has just turned an ominous color, and there is a hor- and there's a feeling of absolute horror coming over from the Hearts Labule area. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Guess it must have been my imagination. Better get back to my post. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Who are we borrowing today? You! You! You there! Quit scrolling away from it. You! How mm. the fuck did you manage to get him to 105? How much money did you spend on that banner? Mm. Don't think about it. God's damn whales. Yeah, we'll borrow an ace with a hedgehog on his head. Alright, y'all know the drill. We are overleveled. Whap. Well, whap him after story. <laughs> To be fair, my ace voice is like a smidgen of, like, op optimism and positivity away from just being a Sonic impression. It fits. It's Sonic if he was an asshole. <laughs> Head mage, may we come in? <laughs> optimism prime. <laughs> How's it going, sir? Fuck, which one of us was doing him? Uh, it was you. Ah, okay. Um, uh, I, I, I got him. Whatever. I got him. Okay. Ah, thank you all for coming. I'll get right to the point. Now that the heart slipule incident is behind us, it's been three days. I wanted to give you a proper debriefing on the manner. On the matter. If I could, I, I can English right. I can English good. <laughs> You were doing him, but then we came into the room! Jade, no! Fuck any of the staff and faculty but this one. I am begging you, any of them but this one. I, I, you can do so much better, Jade! Jade, you can do so much better than this, uh, than this one! Jade! If you're to become mages, you need to fully understand the malady that befell Mr. Rosehearts. You called it overblot, right? Phoenix, no, Phoenix, you and Jade can do so much better. Crowley, you want an example as to why? Crowley goes around, calls himself generous, and then does jack and shit to actually be helpful. My work here is done. You, you didn't, didn't do, do anything. <laughs> someone please, someone please, we need the tuxedo mask me, but it's Crowley. It probably exists somewhere, I just gotta dig it up. That's so fair. He also is the reason we are stuck in an abandoned building filled with possibly a black mold infestation <laughs> and ghosts. The place is also fucking haunted. I also, yeah, now I also need the one where it's like, shit's magic, I ain't gotta explain shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My brother told me a little about that. He said that could happen to anyone who builds up too much blot. Sounds like Cater was pretty much on the nose with Berserker mode. Excuse or do not eat the black mold. <laughs> Yeah, but what is blot anyway? Ah, indeed. For your sake and dragons, it would behoove us to start with the basics. I shall teach you all you need to know. Charity, thy name is Crowley. 
Oh, there he goes again. Eh, he's doing it again. No, it was not menacing cats. He lied to me. It was not menacing cats. It was actual dead people. I expected I expected multiple versions of my cat, and instead I just got dead people. <clears throat> now, blot is a form of waste that is created as a byproduct of using magic. Just as cars run on gasoline and in the process expel dangerous gases as exhaust, so gasoline exists in this universe. You see cat people! Yeah, and I see dead people! I want your problem instead! <laughs> Casting spells consumes magical energy, and in the process, expels blot. Your new magic mm. had a carbon footprint. Quite. Research into the nature of blot has been conducted since time immemorial. And yet we still understand little about it. All we know for sure is that it is terrifically toxic, and excessive amounts can wreak havoc on a mage's mind and body. Terrifically? Did you mean terrifying? No, I meant terrific. <laughs> I, 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 He's it's, not it's using the positive card of connotation. It. He's that old. Mm. <laughs> I, I guess that's why Grandma was always nagging me to not overdo it with the magic, huh? Here, I thought she just didn't want me to break so I, I mean, yes, Ace, it's yes, that, yes. It's that, but also she didn't want to potentially take her grandson to the <laughs> hospital while he's trying to kill everybody. Power and peril are two sides of the same coin. Even the greatest of mages cannot cast spell after spell without consequence. Why do you think they invented spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a Mikoto Sea Jade. Ooh, now I'm curious. So you're telling me I'm gonna get sick if I keep using magic whenever I want? Yes. Not necessarily. Hmm. Perhaps a demonstration would prove more efficient than a mere explanation. Ghosts assemble! I have a job for you! Is oh, it... I really wanted to be- Ace, stand still! <laughs> Ace, stand still! Your target practice now! <laughs> Huzzah! You summoned us, head mage? Not these guys again! Oh, right, he's seen the ramshackle ghosts! He knows. He knows the dead people. Would you be so kind as to help me put these young students through their paces? This, this seems like a bad idea. Yeah, okay. We'll go a round or two with them. Now, students, ready your magical pens. Prepare to receive a special lesson from your head mage. Can I get a refund on that? I I don't know why that ghost had fuck me eyes, Kizor. I don't. Yeah, why do know. they? Why do they have in their? They're supposed to be based talking... off of the old ghost animations from Disney, but unfortunately, yeah. they. Why the did they eyes. give them such pronounced eyeliner? I... In, in in their talking sprites. I don't know. You're gonna have to ask Yana that one. It makes sense for all the ma main characters, but on them, yeah, it looks weird. He wanted a ghost job! No! No, bad! Bad ghosts! We, there was no <laughs> consent in there! At least not from, not from those of us currently in the office. Alright, chapter four, dangerous accumu accumulation. <laughs> that ain't ectoplasm. Oh no. Hey, head mage, what's the deal? What does fighting ghosts got to do with blot? <laughs> Casper isn't friendly so more now that the horny is struck. He's a little too <sighs> friendly now. Direct your attention to the mage stone on your collar, Mr. Grimm. Yeah, my mage still looks all grungy now. Yeah, it won't rub, it won't rub off. Precisely. That inky black stain is the byproduct of spellcasting known as blot. There's some grab on my magical pen too. Ew, this is capital G gross. 
There's some way to get rid of it? Yes, of course. Like some kind of special soap or something? With sufficient rest, Blot will vanish from your mage stone. This is why a mage stone is so valuable to magic users. Not only does it aid your casting, it also serves as a lightning rod of sorts to prevent Blot from accumulating within the caster. I'm gonna need y'all to understand. In the story, this is gonna be like one of the last few times Crowley is actually helpful in explaining shit. Mm. I see. So when our mage stones start to get cloudy, that means it's time for us to ease off. Correct. Eat well and get plenty of sleep and most of the blot will clear away. Gotcha! So when I become an even greater mage, I'll be able to fire off spells left and right. But pew After all, I do plenty of sleeping and eating. People vary greatly in their capacity for magic. However, save for a few key exceptions, there is little variance in most mages' tolerance for blot. What's that mean? In essence, it means that those who possess a great capacity for magic must be meticulous in their efforts to avoid accumulating blot. I will give you that. Crowley is attractive in a kind of, like, wet bird kind of way. If that's mm. the best way to describe it. Not in a Tumblr sexy man kind of way? Not Tumblr sexy man kind of way. That That is a wet bird. That is a bird who's had a bucket of water dumped on him. Uh-huh. Like Mr. Rosehearts, for, for instance. So, folks who know their way around magic gotta lay off once in a while. Seems simple enough. Correct. That said, it isn't anything that mages at your level need to worry about. I'll be able to look at it in a bit, in a bit, Jade. How very fortunate for you. I guess that's only kind of an insult. Congratulations, you don't have to worry about this horribly deadly thing. Anyway, I think I get it. Use magic, get blot. Blot bad. Sleeping food good. But is that really all it took to make Riddle activate Berserker mode? The accumulation of blot is significantly affected by the sorcerer's mental state. Anger, fear, panic, sorrow, harboring those sort of negative energies hastens the accumulation of blot by a significant <laughs> Parental degree. Parental trauma. <laughs> Parental trauma, lack of therapy. <laughs> this, in turn, leads to the dreadful state known as overblot. Negative energies, huh? Interesting. Do you recall the giant shadow that appeared behind Mr. Rosehearts? Such manifestations are believed to be the result of a fusion between blot and negative energies. I'm afraid that's the extent of what current studies have revealed to us, however. There remain many mysteries surrounding Overblot. After all, there are not many opportunities for study and observation. Let's hope it stays that way. Yes, Jade. Yes, it is. Based with negative energies and isekai. It's fortunate that we were able to snap Mr. Rosehearts out of it so quickly. That had been allowed to continue. Ah, there's a prospect too terrifying to consider! The lawsuits! <laughs> the absolute wrongful death lawsuits he would be dealing with. Yeah, what? What's your problem? Yeah, I'm out of the blue like that. Yeah, Vanitas would probably fit right in. Ahem, <clears throat> forgive me. I lost my composure. I just started thinking of all the court fees. In summary, the use of magic is always accompanied by a certain degree of risk. And I expect you all to keep that in mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thus concludes your special lesson from the head mage himself. How wonderfully kind of me. Now back to your classrooms with you. Now don't ask for anything from me ever again, you little shits. <laughs> so have you found a way to send me home? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, means to send Dragon home. Right. Right. I definitely <laughs> didn't just remember when you reminded me. I have been diligently searching for one, of course. I have certainly not forgotten. It is merely that I've been quite busy of late. Mm -hmm. I'm smelling some bullshit. 
Your eyes got all shifty all of a sudden. Uh, I'm certainly not lying. The October Interdorm Spell Drive Tournament is consuming a great deal of my attention at the moment. <laughs> Damn it! I gotta say my name three times in order for me to go home. Fuck! Mm -hmm. In fact, I have a meeting with the assembled house wardens immediately after this. What's a spell drive tournament? Oh boy, we get to learn about sports in this universe! <coughs> yeah, baby. We get to learn about magical sports! Because you can't have a magic school without magic sports! I know it has tournament at the end, but I hear spell drive, and I, the first thing that comes to mind is like... A flash drive with spells, or like, a flash you know how drive. there's a food, or there's a food, you know how there's a food driver's like, oh, we collect spells for uh, less fortunate mages and spellcasters. <laughs> Just one fireball a day, you can help this poor <laughs> magicless <laughs> loser yeah, become a could, great mage. Help. Just... Just one Eldritch Blast can save one. We'll save one <laughs> apprentice mage's apprentice. Also, they misplaced the ruby slippers. No! Not those two! Damn it! <laughs> Crowley, why can I go home? Crowley, I don't have legal documentation here! Crowley! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, according to y'all's governments here, I don't exist! How am I supposed to build a future for myself with that, Crowley? I never know what anyone is talking about. Dude, dragon. You never heard of Spell Drive? What part of I'm not from here do you not hear? <coughs> is it the I'm? Is it the not? Is it the from? Is it the here? Which one? Spell drives are what people use when they run out of spell slots in the middle of a dungeon. Mm. No short rests? No problem. Spell drive. It's a world famous. Sport. Windows would like to. Would you like to restart your computer to update your spell drivers? <laughs> it's a world famous sport. There's even a pro league and a world champion tournament. Great. What is it? I ain't never heard of this either. Neither. Spell drive is a sport played by competing teams of seven people. Basically, players battle for control of a disc and earn points by driving it into the enemy team's goal. Spell drives of older scrolls. So it's. It used to. So be... it's frisbee soccer. Maybe. Well, based on that very basic definition, that was my interpretation of it. Spell drivers. The team with the most points wins. Matt, it could also be magic. Ho yes, it could also be magic hockey or maybe magic football. I don't know. That that. Right there. That sounds like football. What's football? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> football? Say what? Hmm, I've not heard such a game, but I'll look it up the next time I'm at the library. Oh, God, no, please. I don't <laughs> think- I will tell y'all this- This is why Crowley hasn't gotten anything. His ADHD makes him hyper-focus on the wrong things. Not the poor person stuck in the abandoned black mold infested and- ghost-filled house that got isekai here and would very much like to go home. No, Phoenix. Bad. We don't talk about it. It's not Quidditch. Perhaps it will yield some sort of clue. Oh man. I just realized that Dragon would have a hard time actually playing. It's because of the lack of magic or the physical disability. It's one of the two, man. Yeah? Why's that? <sighs> You need magic to play. It's the lack of magic. Got it. Uh, cat check. There is no cat in here still. They have not busted open the door yet. Not only do you move the disc with magic, but you also use it to attack and defend, too. The flashier the magic, the better. It's how uh, players show off their skills. I don't know why I stuttered there. I don't know either. Yes, quite. That is why Night Raven College is known throughout the world as a leader in the sport. The school has produced countless pro players. 
That's why our interdorm spell drive tournaments attract attention even from pro league recruiters. Also, those simply looking for up and coming magicians use the event to scout hopeful candidates. Yes, the tournament is quite an affair. The campus will be full of visitors in line with various kiosks. And the main event will be captured by television cameras and broadcast worldwide. Oh, that's actually kind of incredible. Like actual college sports. It's broadcast throughout the world! Grim. Grim. What are you thinking? So you're saying that if I were to play in this tournament and win, of course, the whole world would see it? Of course. Players who excel at the turn and in invariably attract great attention. Both from the pro leagues and the public and the public at large. But called it public. Yes, they they have televisions. I actually have one in my guest room guest room in, in game. There's a ghost inside it. In your case, the magic would barely even matter. Just having a monster like you out there is sure to turn heads. It's settled then! I'm gonna train around the clock, join a team, and become a legend! Oh, my son wants to become an athlete. Alright, I'll support your new little dream. Oh, fuck you, Crowley. Can y'all stop crushing my son's dreams? Can y'all not? Alas, Grim, you cannot enter. Wait, what? Did you not hear me speak the word interdorm multiple times? Your dorm doesn't even have seven members, therefore you cannot enter the tournament. What? No fair! But there's plenty else to do, from tending to the grounds to selling drinks in the stands. Fuck you, Crowley. Those who stand right. upon the field are not the only stars of tournament day. Not interested. Look, you're making him cry. You're making him cry. I want to be on TV. I want everyone in the world is fawning over me. <laughs> Grim is so cool. I cannot do that squeak. <laughs> Did you see that play Grim made? You get what I'm saying? Your delusions are oddly specific, dude. Well, if you can't feel the team, I'm afraid that's that. Maybe next year Ramshackle House will get some new members, but it's not happening this year. Anyway, as I believe I've mentioned, I'm a busy man. I must be off. To look for a way to get me home, right? To look for a way to get me home, right? No, I want to find out more about this football. <laughs> Just remember, there's a dip- Gotta be specific, okay? There's a difference between American football and European football. What is this your rub and America? <laughs> if you actually bother to look for a way for me to get home, you'll learn. <laughs> yeah, thanks for taking time out of your busy day to build up my dreams and crush them. Yeah. Oh, my poor baby. He's my gremlin bastard son, but damn it. Let him have his dreams! Oh boy, Chapter 6, House Warden Meeting. Just think of the clip from what we do in the shadows. He's my best friend. He's my pal. My homeboy. My rotten soldier. My sweet cheese. My good time boy. <laughs> oh boy, House Warden Meeting. Oh, hey, we get to see all the House Wardens. Maybe they remember to invite Malleus. Wait, if they remembered, I'm screwed. I'm cooked. <laughs> I am cooked if they remembered. <laughs> I call to order this meeting of House Wardens. Our agenda today concerns the October Spell Drive Tournament. Let us begin with the report from the head of the Tournament Planning Committee, Mr. Ashen Grotto of Octavenil House. A lot of people here. Uh, get... Hats, it's your, it's your, ro your rodeo. You tell me who I'm doing and who you're doing. Thinking of a number between one and seven. Uh, four. You want him? Uh, sure. All right, there you go. Here, here's a uh, anime boy <laughs> Ursula for you. Okay, that, look, that that both helps and makes me want to try and do something different. Um, 
I also so if Malleus and Leona are here, how many how many houses are there? There's just so that way. Absolute, Savannah Claw, Octavno, Scarabia, Pomfor, Ignihai, Diasonia. There's seven. Okay, so either okay, so it's, but there's so no it's guarantee so all of them are here. Doing, okay. Well, I'm already doing three, so I guess it stands reason that the other four are yours. So since we can't really do an even split, but like yeah. you said, we don't know who's who's exactly going to speak up here. Yeah. Um. Anyway, greetings. I am Azul Ashen Grotto, and it is my honor to lead the planning committee. I am pleased to announce that we have fully booked the grounds surrounding the Colosseum. All of the kiosk space allotted to both internal organizations and external businesses is now full. Ah, we got Kaleem here. Sweet! This tournament should be a real lively one, then. All invitations to various royalty have been sent, and public tickets are selling briskly. As in, And, as in past years, we have received numerous requests to cover the event from both television stations and print media. Sounds like the whole world will be watching. Before I was admitted here, I looked forward to receiving my VIP invitation every year. I imagine you got them too, Leona. We might have to run in. We might have run into each other at the tournament when we were kids. Who knows? And also, who cares? Ah, there's Bill. We got Riddle, and apparently, Whoa. Edia couldn't Whoa. bother coming him fucking self. <laughs> Why is there a sentient iPad? That's what Edia does when he doesn't want to come out of his gamer cave. You'll get to see more of Edia eventually. Right. This year, I'll have to work extra hard on my makeup to make sure I'm shining like a diamond on the new Ultra Vision displays. With all the exertion, I'll need to be touching it up constantly. <sighs> House Pomfoir is the only dorm that regularly calls timeouts to fix their makeup. <laughs> How can you all be ex so excited to be on TV? Just the idea of it makes me want to puke. <clears throat> As I was saying. Oops, sorry. Now, as soon as your dorm's player ro rosters are settled, I'll need your registration documents. Any dorm that is even a single day late... Will be promptly disqualified, I trust? No, they will be charged a handling fee. Consider it rumination for rush process. Smart. What? I don't approve of you changing the rules to allow for policy exceptions. And I gotta be more grateful for it. <laughs> Let's try to stay on topic. We need to discuss the tournament bracket. I had an idea I'd like to propose. And that is, it concerns the Diasomnia House Warden. I think we should induct Mr. Draconia into the Hall of Fame to keep him off the field entirely. Say what? What are you on about? Ever since Mr. Draconia enrolled here, no dorm has scored even a single point against Diasomnia. Diasomnia regularly scores 100 points per game, with 90% of them being from Mr. Draconia himself. Now that you mention it, when we had to face them last year, it did feel completely futile. The dude totally breaks the game. It's like he's got cheat codes enabled. Amusement is not the only goal of this tournament. Our hope is that spectators the world over will discover talented new mages. However, recent matches have been ending without anyone, save Mr. Draconia, casting even a single spell. And that includes his own teammates. And that is a less than optimal state of affairs. I'm all for it. Getting stomped isn't exactly fun for us either. I know many members of Savannah Claw House aspire to play in the Spell Drive Pro League. Savannah Claw House had never landed in less than third place in the history of this school. Yet, in both of the last two years, you've been eliminated in the first round after being matched against the Asomnia House. It's certainly not impressing any recruiters. Thus, this matter of disproportionate performance directly affects your player's future. And you're saying you expect us to make fools of ourselves on the field again this year? It certainly brings me no pleasure to suggest it. Regardless, Mr. Draconia has already agreed to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. All we need now is this committee's approval. 
So you're saying we need a handicap? Listen and listen well, teach. Ain't nothing I hate more than someone telling me you can't win before I even begin to fight. No, that is not my intention. Then what is it? First of all, spell drive ain't a game about power. It's all about what's up here, in your head. I'm pretty sure my head can't beat Malleus's. I don't doubt that, but mine can. Sure, in a battle of brute force, no one's beaten him. But in a battle of wits, that's a different story. Intriguing. The King of Beasts from the Great Seven won his throne through cunning and perseverance. Uh-huh. You all should be wrecking your brains trying to come up with a way to beat that monster. Whichever team figures that out is going to be sitting real pretty on the world stage. Are you going to let a once-in-a-lifetime chance like that get yanked out from under you? For once, Theona is making perfect sense. I agree, this plan is utter nonsense. It reeks of some kind of unconscious bias on your part. And I despise that sort of thing. I'm in complete agreement with House Warden Vil. As one of the foremost mages here, the last thing I want to do is give up without a fight. Don't you want to see that self-important stuck-up jerk's crestfallen face get broadcast of the whole world? Give that for a moment. My cat's been muted. No! I, uh, did they turn Pepper into dragon fruit juice? Who got hold of a turn him into dragon fruit juice? Who yoinked the who yoinked the vepper? Let's put him in the blender. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Doesn't the thought of it make you want to roar? <laughs> that would certainly boost the ratings. Well, I certainly don't want to be on the losing side of this. Seriously, I'm the only one who wants him in the Hall of Fame. I think we have our answer. The Hall of Fame idea is officially shut down. Fine, fine. But if this year ends up being a repeat of the last two years, he's going in next year for sure. That's your call. Well, that was the last item on today's agenda. Everyone remember to submit your registrations. Not that I would be upset if it were to slip your mind. <laughs> You're not getting me with late fees. Incidentally, where is Malleus? Did everyone forget to invite him again? Oops! <laughs> Gee, I thought somebody was missing! I thought you were gonna do I thought you were gonna do it! Spell Drive tournament roster should be final any day now. Come up with any flashy new spells? You know it. I already showed one Professor Krill, and he seemed pretty impressed. Can't wait to show it to House Warden. Ah! Oh, that hurt! Hey, what just happened? Why'd you tumble down the stairs like that? My ankle hurts. Oh no, we gotta get you the nurse. Ah, we have a bastard. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm, that's totally not a oh. sign of things to come. Yippee, someone's gonna do a murder again. Oh boy, someone's gonna go berserk and try to kill us again. Oh no, rhythm game. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, gee, I wonder who has that unique laugh. And has ears that look like that. Man, if I can't be in the Spell Drive tournament, then what's even the point anymore? 
Oh, me melodramatic much? Why, why can't I be nice to him? Hey, Yana! Yana, I'm outside your damn door! Why can't I be nice to him? Hey! Oh boy, the ghosts are here. Including the Tumblr sexy man one. <coughs> I wish I, I was right. joking. I wish I was joking. What's wrong, Grimmy? Something got you down? He's sulking because he can't play in the Spell Drive tournament. You want to play Spell Drive that badly? Why, we can play with you. I was the team captain 90 years ago, you know? The girls in the stands couldn't get enough of me. Yeah, but wouldn't we need seven people? It's not a real match, so who cares? Let's just play. You know what? Good on the ghosts for this one. Oh, okay. Here, while you do that, I'm going to use the restroom. Alright, have fun. Or, wait, what? You know what I mean! God damn it! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go dig myself a hole and just die. I'm, I am just gonna go perish. After the rhythm game, I will perish. No double notes. I am begging you. No double notes while I'm on the emulator. Please. Please, game. I beg of thee. Damn it. Still missed that one. Thought I was moving over fast enough. Well, I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I'm just expecting to get through here. Oh, look at my boy. He's having fun! No, oh, that just this, this is sweet. Just the fact that the ghost decided to do this. Th this is just sweet. No double notes! I am safe for the double notes on this emulator for now! No, oh, I just- this- this is just one of the sweetest moments. I do wish that later on in the story that we got to see more of, like, the sweet moments with Brim and the Ramshackle Ghosts and them with the MC as well. I wish we could see more of those. I am safe for now, yes. Good day. Playing some spell drive. Guys. The useless crow is here. And here comes the fun police. There goes my good mood. Right down the drain. I'm pleased to see you're all getting along. Quite pleased indeed. Yeah, they just keep coming back anyway. Might as well get along, I guess. Do you want something, or... I have a request to make of you both. Why don't we take this inside? Seriously? More requests? I ain't part of your janitorial staff anymore, you know. Oh? You do recall that I never promised to cover the living expenses you've been racking up, yes? Oh, that is a dick move, Crowley! That is a dick move! You're going for the livelihood. How easy is it to kill a crow? Specifically, how easy is it to kill a crow man? Is he immune to guillotines? Because I'm about ready to go French Revolution on his ass. Huh. 
Hard work can be a beautiful thing, Grim. I sure you agree, Dragon. I don't seem to be in a position to disagree, dickhead. Hi, Crowley just threatened our livelihood. Mm -hmm. To get us to agree Damn. to do it with what he wants. He came he came up to us after Grim while Grim was playing with the ghost because he had a request. And he decided that to just preemptively make sure, in order to make sure that we couldn't say no, uh, threaten, threaten to stop paying for our living expenses. Yippee, blackmail. Blackmail. <laughs> he, he, I'm pretty sure he saw like a little thing in like the corner of his eye that said, Dragon will remember this. Skis or it's both. It's Corvids in general that hold grudges. There's been a rash of students being hurt in suspicious incidents on campus lately. I'm here to ask you to investigate the matter. Suspicious incidents? Yes, students falling down stairs, getting burns in boiling water, and so forth. The specifics of the incidents differ, but the nurse's office has had a clear spike in patients over the last few days. With yesterday's incident on the stairs, we now have ten wounded students. We're just fortunate that none of the injuries have been life-threatening. Yet. You sure it ain't just kids being clumsy? I'm sure many of our students are too distracted by the upcoming tournament to focus properly. But this is far more accidents than we've had in past years. Yes, if you murdered a crow in front of other crows, they ain't gonna forget that shit. And they're gonna tell the other crows in the area to not forget that shit. Furthermore, all of the wounded students were considered contenders to make their dorms teams. Oh, now this is getting interesting. So you don't think they were accidents, then? An excellent deduction, Dragon. However, we have no evidence of foul play. All the accidents happened in public spaces, and all the witnesses said the same thing. It looked like he was just being careless. It sounds like they were just being careless, then. Case closed! Glad we could sort that out! Bye! Grim. Grim, it's never that simple. Not the most thorough of investigations, Grim. This has got nothing to do with me. I can't even participate in your dumb tournament. So why do I care what happens? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, especially after I prepared such a magnificent reward for you. You couldn't start with the reward first. You had to go immediately to blackmail before you even got what you wanted out of us first. Why was your first move blackmail? I ain't falling for that line again. I wouldn't do it even for a hundred cans of tuna. But if I allowed you to participate in the spell drive tournament? Pardonnez-moi? Oh, fuck, he knows French. Mm. Who's been teaching my son French? Should you solve the case, I'll generously permit your dorm to enter the spell drive tournament. What do you say to that? Surely your doubt is dazzled by my altruism. I would be if you hadn't immediately blackmailed us first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a participant, the whole world will lay eyes upon your majesty. Just imagine the cheers echoing from the sold-out stadium seats. This year's most promising rookie, the mighty Grim, has taken the field! Hurrah! And so on. Oh man, it's like I can already taste it. Ah, but of course, you have refused my offer. How unfortunate. Let's forget this ever happened. No, wait, wait! I'm in! I'll do it! No! Say it ain't so! Don't say my son is French! What's that? You'll do it, you say? If you let me into the tournament, you bet! Right, dragon? But don't we need seven players for a team? I, got... I can't play! We got So we got Grim and the Ghost. As school head mage, I will simply perform a magical miracle to fill out your team somehow. We can work out the details later. Come on, dragon, we got a crime to solve! I am counting on you both. Couldn't start with the offer of the tournament first. No, his first option was blackmail. Why was his first option blackmail? Right. 
I'm gonna attempt to get to, like, chapter 10 today. Alright. Oh boy, we're throwing hands again. Who am I grabbing? And let's get Azul. And his uh, event attire. The masquerade attire. Alright, where's this guy who hurt his ankle? Huh? Yeah, someone's from Ramshackle House. They were at the unbirthday party. What are you guys doing here? Get a load of that! We're totally famous! <sighs> We'd like to ask about your accident. I wish I knew what happened myself, man. I was walking along, talking to my friend, and the next thing I know, boom! I was tumbling down the stairs. Yeah, I didn't even see him stumbling or anything. It's like my body just lurched forward by itself. I can't really explain it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for your cooperation. Get better, man. Hey, you. You had an accident and almost got hurt real bad, right? Give us the deets. And why should I answer to you exactly? It was a peak condition for the spell drive tournament got hurt so bad that he can't even play now. And you're here to what? Rub salt in my wound? We throw down the gauntlet! Duel us! Sir, I will pick up that gauntlet and backhand you with it. And once again, we are throwing hands first thing in the morning! Give Alright, y'all know the usual. Whap him. Mods, whap their peepees. <laughs> too injured for football, but not injured enough for throwing hands, I guess. Nah, man, no one's too injured for throwing hands, most of the time. No, oh, look at him in his little suit. My boy. So what did we learn? Hmm. You're better than I thought. Alright then, I'll give you the skinny. No one says that. No one says that. Who says that? This sure do be the localization of all time. <laughs> this- Oh god, you- When we get to book four, you're gonna see how the localization ruined one of the most iconic moments. Mm. You are gonna see it, and it's gonna hurt. Happened in the laboratory. We were boiling up a potion when his hand suddenly shot out and grabbed the screaming hot cauldron. He dumped out every last drop. It was bizarre. Made a real mess, too. Also, you're gonna do all the talking? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hope you feel better soon. Oh boy, back to the black mold. I just gotta remember, slowly over time, we see this place starting to get cleaned up. I don't know, this just looks like a bunch of absent-minded kids hurting themselves to me. There's a scandal here, I ain't seeing it. <coughs> huh? Who's that? We have a doorbell? We have a buzzer? Skizor, please do not talk to the Black Mole, that's how you end up like J.K. Rowling. Oh, Ace is here. Morning. Guess you're feeling better now, huh, Grim? No, oh, it's you. We're kind of busy right now. No time. No time for a kid stuff. Scram. Busy? What? You got a lot of homework? Skizor, no! You're gonna end up like J.K. Rowling. What? Skizor, no! Ignore the mold. Oh yeah, I, I fucking forgot. I forgot about that. That I her place is infested with black mold. Oh my god, and everyone's like, is this why she's fucking insane? Yes, because Black Mold does f freaky shit to ya! You might want to sit down, Ace. It's a... It's gonna take explaining Crowley logic to ya. Injuries from suspicious accidents, huh? But nothing we heard sounded all that suspicious. 
It seemed like they were all just excited about the tournament, got distracted, and hurt themselves somehow. Ace, we got a big problem! Dial it down, Lucy Do- <laughs> Lucy Doocy? The localization team is hurting me today! <laughs> what is it? Trey fell down the stairs, he's hurt! So, Grim, uh, is this not- is this suspicious to you now? Okay. Trey ain't exactly clumsy! <laughs> what? Yeah, he's a sneaky one with the glasses, right? Sneaky one with the gla- <laughs> The localization team is on some good stuff. Who knows what stuff they're on? He never struck me as being absent-minded. Yeah, Trey wouldn't just trip and eat dirt. Let's go see what he's got to say. <laughs> that no, no, we're not trying to skip to that already. God's damn scrolling. There, Trey's room. The localization team's on Moon Sugar. That would explain it. Oh my god, he's got a little clover- I just now noticed he's got a clover pillow. I've noticed the sheets before, but he's got a pi he's got the pillow. That- that is honestly cute. Yo, man, hey, how's it going? How are you feeling, Trey? I came all this way just to see your sorry face. It's cool. Don't get up. Grim. Manners. <laughs> Oh, well, no. if it isn't hunting season and Grim and Dragon too, you're rolling deep okay, today. Okay, I got it. This is one of the things where I really have some beef with the localization team. This is one of the three big things I have like... major beef <laughs> with. Hunt hunting season, for some reason, in the English version, is what Cater refers to Ace and Deuce as. In the original Japanese, they were simply called a Deuce. Which is just a combination of their two names. But for some fucking reason, the localization team went, nah. Huh? Is it like, is it? <sighs> it was literally, like... the nickname was originally just a combination of their two names. But deuce is also the word for, is also a word for two, for the number two. Yes, it does mean sometimes people use it as taking a shit, but if that was the problem, they would have changed Deuce's name entirely. Yeah. Like, is it, like, I, I, the only thing I can think of, like, is it, is it, like, a, is it a Looney Tunes reference? But they can't do that because this is Disney. Yeah. Cause, like, because it's, like, 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 is it because they have, like, a very, like, rabbit season, duck season type, like, rivalry? Like, I don't, what is the what is the joke here? What is the reference? I, Cater, you better fucking explain it, man. I just again, I just have so much beef with this one with the localization anyway. team. Anyways, and Grim and Dragon too. You're rolling deep today. Hey, Cater. I'm lost. What do you mean by hunting season? Yeah, please enlighten. Please explain to the rest of the class. <laughs> Poker. What? what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't that's know enough about poker to sell if that's bullshit or not. What? He's saying ace deuce here, but okay. You don't call I doubt you call it hunting season. I severely doubt you call localization. it hunting Localization. Season. Localization. Show your work. Explain. <laughs> Explain cite your, your sources. <laughs> your source see better not after, be. Your source better not be. Trust me, bro. Me, your source is not. Minus see me after the class. <laughs> Lo localization team, your source better not be. Trust me, bro. <laughs> My sources, I made it the fuck up. <laughs> hey, well, that don't count here. <laughs> I mean, it's you guys. You're ace. He's deuce. That's what call you. That's what you call an ace deuce in poker. No, it is not. I... Don't give us a couple nickname. I... I don't. Why? Why I... localization team? Why? I'm so confused. 
Right. Anyway. How do you feel, Trey? And how do you get hurt? Slipped on the stairs. I couldn't catch myself and my ankle got all messed up. I'll be on crutches for a while. Yikes, that sounds pretty bad. Please tell me your health care was free. Yep, looks like I'll be warming the bench at the Spell Tribe tournament this year. Yeah, I was hoping your injury would be small enough for me to justify keeping this, but here. I brought you a get well can of tuna. Feel better, Specs. Aww. See, he can be a sweet boy when he wants to be. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, hashtag fail. Now that we lost a power player, we have to redo our team roster. Wait, Wait what? what? Ahem, y'all two wipe those smiles off your faces. Not the time for it. Why are there so many people in here? Trey is supposed to be resting. Yeah, it's raging riddle. <laughs> I am not raging. I will be perfectly pleasant if you obey the rules. How are you doing, Trey? Can I bring you anything to eat or drink? I told you, Riddle, you don't need to fuss over me like this. But it's my fault that you got hurt. Skizor, this is an all-boy school. Please do not think too hard about the fact that I am a woman in an all-boy school. It terrifies me enough. I haven't looked yet, Jade. Yeah, I will look- I will go ahead and look right now. Oh. Very, very pretty. Doctor, archaeologist, and treasure hunter. Ooh. Okay, very pretty and sounds interesting. What? He didn't tell us that part. I needed to talk to him, so I went to the junior classroom at lunch. And then... Oh boy, flashback and at the ominous stairwell. Where the fucking Mickey? I see you, you little bastard. I see you. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's just pull it pull. I'm going to be late today, so go ahead and start practice without me. Sure, we'll do. Why, why is he so close to the camera? <laughs> I don't know! So, are they trying to make him look taller than he actually is? Alright. Like, they're trying to do a perspective thing with the stairs. They just, like, they just Unfortunately, it doesn't. Sprite. It just doesn't work with the live 2D models. Yeah, they just, it just, they just enlarged his sprite, so we just... <laughs> Alright, get some lunch, Jade. Enjoy your food. Alright, I'll see you all. And, yep, they moved him! <laughs> It just doesn't work with the live 2D sprites. It just doesn't work. Riddle, look out! Trey never would have slipped if he hadn't caught me when I was about to tumble over. Yeah, but if I hadn't, he would have just broken your fall with a flight spell. It was stupid of me to intervene, so you don't owe me anything. Still, I... Hey, dragon, do you think? Yeah, this may not have been an accident. Riddle, come on! It's not gonna do anyone any good to have you harshing the vibe here. It's lame that Trey got hurt, but you'll rock the field that much harder to make up for him, right? Well, I suppose that's true. All right, peeps, we should let Trey get his rest. Out, out, out! Don't gotta tell me twice! Damn, this is their lounge. Those are some nice chairs. Awful lot of flowers in here, though. Alright, Cater. Was there something you didn't want to tell me in front of Trey? You're always a step ahead of me, Riddle. I get the feeling Dragon and company know something about it. Want to fill us in? Right, so these accidents are probably not accidents. They're just gonna stare. Prolonged eye contact with Cater. 
That sounds Hell, sit back, relax, and enjoy a healthy <laughs> dose of prolonged eye contact. Prolonged eye contact! Prolonged eye contact! Prolonged eye contact! Prolonged eye contact. Here we go, chapter 10. Then you're free from the voice acting for the day. Aw, oh, man. I'd go for longer, but a side effect of being able to get the actual pain meds that works is it finally made me realize just how tired I've been. That's fair. <laughs> you have avoided Malleus once again. I'm safe. For now. <laughs> Ah, so the head mage asked you to investigate. I knew it. Grim coming by for a get well visit? That's just plain sus. Never speak that word again! <laughs> Do you want to know what other localization team just uses sus? Oh no. I hope you're ready for Bell and Wise to say it multiple times. Oh no. <laughs> And in that game, most seventy-five percent of the game is fully voiced. <laughs> oh no! I swear, I told it... myself for years I would not become the adult that doesn't understand the new slang and all that, and that I would keep up. But I can't. I can't do it, man. They also say cringe a lot. At least cringe anyway. I've caught up with. <laughs> But sus, sus fucking hurts. <laughs> oh, hydration check. Yep, taking a drink. I must admit that I found the circumstances odd as well. I've had Cater looking into it for me. And I found out that all of the victims have been talented players like Riddle and Trey. To be clear, it wasn't as if I had been pushed or that I had tripped. But I did feel a peculiar sensation, like my body was moving of its own volition. The other victims did basically the same thing! I believe we could safely surmise that potential spell drive tournament players are being targeted. You think someone is causing accidents to take out threats from the tournament? The whole world will be watching. A good performance can make a player's whole career. It's no surprise that some would resort to underhanded methods to even the odds. Sure, but it doesn't make much sense. I mean, you'd know if you got pushed off the stairs by a gust of wind magic or something, right? Certainly, I felt no external force. And some of the other victims had accidents in the classroom. How do you explain that? The culprit can tell us all about it when we capture him. And we intend to help you do that. You guys are already a hundred times better than Crowley. Yeah? You're gonna help us? What's your angle? You offend us, sir. One of our housemates was injured. Why wouldn't we just help him find justice? I don't know. The, sorry. The way that he says you offend us, sir, makes me think of the... I, do, do you bite your thumb at us, sir? <laughs> From the... I don't... Leonardo I do not... Romeo and Juliet yes. I, don't, film. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, as he is proceeding to bite his thumb. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ye old middle finger. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> we're all safe housebuds here. Count us in. He's gonna pay for what he did to Trey. You two seem awfully enthusiastic about this. <sighs> Pats, I just got the worst thought in my mind just now. Oh, no. <laughs> Somewhere out in this world, there is a high school English teacher that is asking their students to translate a section of Romeo and Juliet into modern slang. There is a zoo. Someone is. There could be someone. There is a non zero that chance is writing, that is happening. <laughs> that is writing a Zoomer version of Romeo and Juliet at this very moment in time. There's a non zero chance of that <laughs> happening, and I did not know that I would ever have to think about it. 
a rose by any other name is just as base. <laughs> no! <laughs> what does base even fucking mean? <laughs> base? Based on what? Based I on don't what? understand. <laughs> I'm I am I'm becoming the old man yells at cloud meme I, and I don't okay, like it. Okay, chat, I need someone to make the shining meme. And it's hat screaming in the corner, and it's Urban Dictionary peeking through the crack in the door. What does based mean? Based on what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Look, uh, I, I get it. <laughs> It took me ages. I still don't even know why for ages people were, you know, putting their fingers on their arms and going, Shee! I don't know why! <laughs> Alright, continue on before I have another meltdown over this. Ah, I get it. You're gunning for that open spot in our team, aren't you? It wasn't that obvious. Yes, yeah. you both, the you both while smirked we were, The grins immensely. while we were both in the room with Trey, who was currently recovering from an injury. Read the room, you two. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, that's so awful. That's crazy. Where Ace? do I sign? Ace I mean, where, where do I sign on your cast? <laughs> Riddle, hide the roster. <laughs> No, that had nothing to do with it. I just want to avenge our housemate. Sure. Yeah, uh-huh. I can at least answer the Riz one, Skis, or it came from Charisma, because but apparently since no one wants to say the word Charisma anymore, they just use Riz. And it hurts. <laughs> it's, you're, like, you're like, oh my god, my D&D, &D, my, my fantasy RPG nerd knowledge came in handy for once. <laughs> it came in handy for once. It worked. <laughs> Years of D&D &D and Fallout have finally come to yeah, be useful. Yeah, it, it's just your, yeah, it's yes, it just is your... It is stupid. I don't get it. And I've been trying for ages to understand why. What the was the second point? A, the second a DM asks hats, for her Riz modifier, she's packing up all of her shit and leaving. <laughs> no, that is when the DM is gonna have to roll for initiative. Because I am getting ready to start throwing hands. <laughs> is that a- so wait, would that be an unarmed weapon proficiency or a throwing weapon proficiency? Improvised weapon proficiency. I'm grabbing the chair. <laughs> but you said throwing hands. Throwing hands is, is slang for fighting. <laughs> At least know that one. <laughs> Fine. Your performance during the investigation will be taken into account. Woohoo! Woohoo! Now, if we're going to apprehend this culprit, we need to stay a step ahead of him. And we're gonna do that how exactly? By predicting which student will be targeted next and covertly following him. Oh, we're gonna do some stalking. Should the culprit strike, we will protect the target and then immediately pursue the attacker. But how do we know who will be targeted next? Do we have the rosters for who's gonna be playing? I've got this dragon. I've already identified a number of potential targets from amongst the most promising players. I'll form a group on Magic Cam so we can coordinate our efforts and then give you access to the album. Holy shit, you're using your influencer powers for good. It's a miracle. Mm. Okay, this is a ton of information. Now let's move what social media influencers think they do compared to what they actually do. <laughs> what they actually do. <laughs> good god. Let's nail this creep. Good boy, Grim. I make a bunch of information readily available online, what they actually do. Actually, I just harass small businesses to give me free food. Yeah, I know. All right, there you go. Chapter 10, Vepper, you was free from voice acting. Thank you for joining, though. Yeah, bye. Thank you so much for yeah, having on, what, me, what as always. What is in the chat? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it's oh, the... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the gift. Yeah, he's sending the gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's my best friend, he's my pal, he's my homeboy, my rotten soldier, my sweet cheese, my good time boy. Yes. 
But thank you for joining in, Vesper. You have a good day, okay? All right, you take care and rest easy, hats. Right, Bye, chat. Bye. All right, but for those who did tune in, I do hope you enjoyed. I should be back again tomorrow afternoon for some more Elder Scrolls Online. I do hope to see y'all there if you can make it. You know, the usual socials link tree link should be down below with all relevant social media as well as direct links to the throne wish list and to the Ko fi. If you want to support me in other ways other than through Twitch. Thank you, Vepper, and, and thank you again for coming in and helping with the voices. But as always, my name is Dragon, and bye bye. <laughs>